one of the most worrying trends right now is the rise in vaping amongst children. One in five children have used vapes. We must act before it becomes endemic. So we will also bring forward measures to restrict the availability of vapes to our children, looking at flavors, packaging, displays, and disposable vapes. Now, as Prime Minister, I have an obligation to do what I think is the right thing for our country in the long term. And as Conservatives, we have never shirked that responsibility. We have always been at the front of society, leading it. And when we have the tools at our disposal to deal with the biggest cause of preventable illness and death in our country, to cut cancer deaths by a quarter, to significantly reduce long-term pressure on our NHS, and to do for our children what we all in our heart of hearts know is right, we must act, we must lead, conference, we must put the next generation first, and that is what I will do. But all the boldness in the world will only mean so much if we can't similarly deal with matters of fundamental sovereignty, safety, and control. I'm talking, of course, about illegal immigration. It is non-negotiable that you, the British people, decide who comes here and not criminal gangs. Those gangs ply a trade that leads to innocent people dying. We have a moral duty to defeat this evil, and we will. Now, I've never pretended that stopping the boats will be easy. At the time I committed the government to delivering that goal, the consensus was simple. There was nothing we could do about it. They pointed to four years of growing crossings and said impossible. Well, conference, they were wrong. It is not impossible, and we are proving it. Small boat crossings are, for the first time since the phenomenon began, down 20% this year. <laughs> All while entry into Europe is up. We are by no means where we want to be, but don't let anyone tell you we aren't making progress. We are, and we will get there. Our new law, will ensure that if you come here illegally, you will be detained and swiftly removed. Now, I am confident that once flights start going regularly to Rwanda, the boats will stop coming. Just look at how our returns agreement with Albania has seen the numbers coming from there fall by 90%. I am confident that our approach complies with our international obligations, but know this, I will do whatever is necessary to stop the boats. <laughs> now, by contrast, Labour's plan is to cook up some deal with the EU, which could see us accepting around 100,000 of Europe's asylum seekers. If your answer to illegal migration is to increase it, you clearly just don't get it, and that is why we have to stop them. <laughs> and that's because on this and on so many other issues, Labour simply don't share our and the country's values. My values are simple. Service, family, Work. I was brought up to understand the value of work. Work gives you security. Work gives you purpose. When the pandemic hit, we were faced with the prospect of 12 million people <coughs> losing that security, that purpose, overnight. And once you're out of work, it can be hard to get back in. I wasn't prepared to cast 12 million people into that darkness. I'm proud that furlough not only prevented this, that helped ensure our economy recovered more strongly from the pandemic than France, Germany, and Japan. Never forget the scale 
of what we did for so many. In six weeks, we did something that had never been done before from scratch. I was